Ahoy folks, Craigo here from Pure Xbox because today we'd like to share our thoughts and impressions on South Park Snow Day. Before we grab our thickest winter coats and brave a snowstorm, Fraser Gilbert was kind enough to share his impressions of the game on purexbox.com, so I decided to spin it into a video for you. Now then, all cozy wozy, comfy wumfy? Yeah? Alright, let's go! No, they, they can't have our toilet paper! Would a level 5 dad warrior be able to join in the middle of a class 10 base siege? Stan, you have to sacrifice your life for the toilet paper! I'll tell tales of your bravery! Well, well, well! If it ain't a cisgendered boy! You would probably be forgiven for expecting the new South Park game to follow the similar structure to that of 2014's The Stick of Truth and 2017's The Fractured But Whole. But South Park Snow Day is a very different beast to those 2D adventures, transforming the series into 3D and offering up a very different gameplay experience. Nicely done, new kid! Looks like I made the right choice recruiting you to my side. That said, Snow Day does essentially act as a successor to the previous two titles. This time around, a devastating blizzard has engulfed South Park much to the kid's delight. And once again, you step into the role of New Kid as you attempt to battle your way to victory against the likes of Kyle, Stan, and Kenny. You didn't beat me, fat ass. The New Kid did. And who are those other three kids they were playing with? Oh, those were the other New Kids. They all think they're the actual New Kid, but you're the only New Kid that matters, right, New Kid? At its core, the gameplay is very simple. You charge at enemies and use the X button to hack and slash them with your sword, for example. Or you can fire ranged attacks at them instead. The added depth comes from various cards that provide you with special powers, such as the ability to gross enemies out with your immense farting ability. Or maybe shield yourself with a protective bubble. Along the way, Jimmy will offer you upgrades for your abilities, and there are also special bullshit powers that provide you, and the AI, with a temporary major advantage. Now we grow! The enemy played a bullshit card! They got giants now, new kids! Stay out of their way or they'll stop you! All of this is purely single player or co-op based, with no PvP involved whatsoever. Each of the roughly 45 minute chapters are broken down into runs, and you can embark on these with up to three other friends, or enjoy them in single player and receive assistance from three AI bots. The former is definitely preferable, but playing alone can still be good fun, albeit not quite to the same degree because of the game's repetitive nature. You're dead! Ha! The best thing we can probably say about the gameplay is that it's more enjoyable than it looks. We don't know about you, but we here at Pure Xbox didn't have high hopes for South Park Snow Day based on the initial trailers. But what we've seen here, we've been low-key impressed with. The combat is very simplistic by design, but still has enough depth to keep things interesting throughout each run, especially when boss fights come into play. The controls feel good for the most part, although ranged attacks have a bit too much delay to them at times, especially for our liking. And the way the card system works is actually really well implemented. What upgrade coming up? That's the one? Great! It helps that everything blends into the world of South Park so well too. Some of the enemies you fight are just little kids dressed up as elves. Mr. Hanky shows up to offer you dark abilities. And even the adults of South Park are often making humorous appearances as they try and deal with the blizzard that engulfs their town. It's an emergency. Someone's got to lead by example. In fact, the humor of Snow Day is once again the biggest highlight in our opinion. With the game featuring hilarious cutscenes and a genuinely TV quality storyline that makes the campaign well worth playing through. Oh, thank God. You did it. You saved me. I've been trapped in here all day. I would have gotten out, but there's a level 3 elven lock on that door over there. With all that said though, there are definitely some question marks that hang over this game at launch. Our biggest question is how much post-launch content it's gonna get, because as things stand right now, it's limited to just a very short campaign. Yes, the gameplay is fun and we can envisage ourselves replaying these chapters a couple of times with friends, but after that it's hard to see where the replayability lies. There's a reason this game is launching for just under $30, and the reality is that you'll have seen everything the story has to offer within a handful of hours. 
And so, whilst we're more impressed than we expected to be with South Park Snow Day, we're really keen to see what the roadmap of content is for the weeks, months, and maybe years ahead. It's a game that feels like it has a lot of love poured into it by a little known developer question, but it remains to be seen whether that this is just the beginning for Xbox's latest South Park adventure, or it's weather bound for a pretty abrupt end. What did you say? I said you're gonna die today! Screw you, you're gonna die! What? I said screw you, you're gonna- Never mind! Well, there's Fraser's impressions all neat and wrapped up with a nice little bow, but I thought I'd add a little extra. To set the scene here, I'm spending most, if not all, of my Sunday in my cozy wozy jam jams playing South Park Snow Day. All alone, I'll add, multiplayer was turned off by the time I got my hands on a wobbly pool noodle sword to beat children with, but like Fraser said, this game is a lot more fun than you'd expect. Sure, the combat is a repetitive mash of X button followed by X button, rounded off with a solid slap of the X button, throw in a firm handshake with the left trigger to unleash fiery hell upon hordes of fourth graders who, upon their own death, reel off some quite funny one-liners. It is indeed the humor that pulls you through this one. We're completely out of cocoa nibs. How could we live like this? The main reason this video is still playing for you is because I wanted to say that if you're not a fan of South Park humor, the constant F-bombs, overwhelming fart jokes, and the ridiculous ramblings of Randy Marsh, who in my opinion is one of the greatest characters ever conceived, then you might just find South Park Snow Day quite boring. You have to figure out a way to break the ice and get me out of here! Hurry, my balls are freezing! It would have been nice to see some leveling outside of gargling Mr. Hanky's dark matter to add a sense of scale to the button mashing until a child perishes into the snow in front of you, and perhaps a little more weapon variety to keep things interesting, but you know, it's, it's alright, I suppose. I did find myself wanting to play more of the game despite the need to actually construct this video, so is there, is there, yeah, whatever that means. But there you have it. Remember to check out purexbox.com for the latest impressions, reviews, and news on all things Xbox, as well as subscribing to the channel. And instead of slapping that X button, why not slap the like button instead? All that's left to say is bye-bye for now. Cheerio!